Good evening and welcome to Winnipeg. Now I'd like to use my 8K cup except that I'm not really shooting this in 8K. <laughs> no, I, I didn't change my camera. It's still uh, doing the 4K thing, but it does a real good job in 4K, so we'll just, we'll just leave it. Okay, uh, what I did was I grabbed one of the two larger boxes that's left and I just grabbed one at random. I don't know if it's the biggest one or the littlest one, but we'll soon find out. And I think what I'm going to do is we're, we're just going to take a, a package of sprues and I'm going to take the plastic off and uh, we won't bid you doing that. We'll just save a little bit of time and get right into it. I'll try and I was noticing that when I was uh, turning the sprues in the other video, I might have been turning them just a little bit too fast. I, I find that if you do have movement in something like this, you get to see the see it sort of in a three dimension, whereas if it's just static, you you maybe you can't. Uh, so I'll try and turn them just a little bit slower. And it looks like there's a lot of sprues in there. Holy moly! Um, well, it goes from from A right through to I think uh, uh, through the entire alphabet, and then it's got something like A1 and you know that sort of thing. So I, I think there are a lot more a lot more sprues in this model than any of the other ships. But there are less pieces overall because the the pieces are bigger. Well, this is this is one forty eighth scale. That probably explains why the the box itself was so much heavier than uh, any of the other models. Um, okay, let's uh, stop flapping our gums here. Oh, I, I did notice that we had a, a bit of a nice sunset. Look, looking out the front window there, and it's. Uh, it's it's just about had it now. Maybe I'll attach it at the end of today's video. It might make a nice time lapse. It might not. I don't know yet. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's get going here and uh, yeah. Okay, this is sprue T, T as in Thomas. Brew L. Sprue K. And there must be something fragile up in here that they're covering up. Let's see if I can carefully remove this. Okay. Now we got some little pieces here, some little pieces here. Look at how much larger the ladders are compared to what we're used to making. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sprue K. Okay, this is Sprue D. D is in Donald. And it's got uh, more fragile stuff here, apparently. Let's uh, see if we can carefully get rid of this. Now, in the event that you notice something, and I don't comment on it, like, uh, for instance, if I if you see a piece is broken and I don't notice it, uh, feel free in the in the comments to uh, say, "Hey, Ron, did you notice on Sprue D that uh, uh, 
the the uh, <laughs> spelt U five five two wrong or <laughs> something like that. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness. Lots of parts. The lots of piping that we're gonna have to contend with. We'll we'll figure it out though. We'll figure it out. Sprue P. P is in Peter. Okay, this looks like sprue C. I want to be careful when I'm cutting this, I don't accidentally cut a little plastic part. Okay. Oh my. Oh no, that's not. <laughs> you know, I saw this and I was just about ready to say, look at all the flashing. But I realize now, and actually I recognize what that is, that would go on the bow, it would be some sort of like a cable cutter or wire cutter. That's what that's all about. Okay. Okay, Sprue C. This reminds me of the calling of a an old uh, aircraft, an old, an old fighter, World War II fighter. Uh, no, maybe not. <laughs> At first glance, it did, but <laughs> okay, it doesn't anymore. Now this one is in a sort of a bubble pack. Careful not to break anything fragile that might be catching. Maybe I'll turn it this way, it might come. Oh, it looks like a piece already did break off somewhere. Where did that come from, I wonder? Yeah. Let's check and make sure there's nothing else in there. Okay, <clears throat> this may, may have come from right here. Or it could be they threw it in loose, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out when we need it. It's pretty pretty obvious. Okay, this is a sprue G, by the way. Okay, clearly this has something to do with the torpedoes. And this one is sprue, it looks like F. F as in Frank. Or fun. Yeah. F is in fun. And another one in bubble pack. I might, uh, See if I can find something else to put put some of these in. Okay, I can see why. There's a lot of really fragile stuff here. I guess maybe when I was taking this, this bubble pack off, I should have been possibly a little bit more careful, but 
I wasn't pulling real fast, so now these these are going to be difficult to put on because what's going to happen is they are going to have a tendency to dissolve. They are so thin. What sprue is this anyway? Sprue S. Okay. S as in Sam. Brew S. S as in Sam. Oh. No. I think we had S, didn't we? Um, this is V as in Victor. Where did I think it was S? Okay. Oh, well, maybe I should mention how well I'm thinking of it. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be getting on a in a taxi and going to see the uh, radiologist. So I don't know how tomorrow's episode is going to go. There will be something, but. It may be a little bit different. Okay, so this is this is sprue V is in Victor or Victory. Okay, this is sprue E. E is in Edward. And I did take it out of the it's another one that was in bubble pack. And I did remove it very carefully, but I'm noticing that this is just about ready to come off here. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to take out a moment and because that, that's that is going to come off. It's it's just it's just hanging there by you might say a thread. So maybe what I should do is uh, take these off. I think they're both the same number. It looks like. Or is this 18 and this is 16? I'll, I'll look. I'll put on my magnification hood and check. Maybe I should put them in test tubes right now and mark them. So I'm, I'm just going to take care of that. But but first, first let's just look at it here. Yeah, I guess this would be to go around the outside of the uh, conning tower, sort of a railing. Boy, look at look at the size of the railings compared to what we're working with on the Iowa right now. Okay. I'm just going to I'm just going to take care of these pieces here. Okay, this one here is 16. This one here is 18. It's just about falling off here. And I'll clean those up later. Don't need to do it now. Okay. Now I'll, I'll just put these test tubes in this in this uh, same bag. This is sprue a Y, as in yellow. And uh, remember, at the is it yesterday or day before we were looking at sprues and we had a Y one and we couldn't find it. It was because it was in the color colored for the for the uh, figures. Well, speaking of figures, wasn't that a great job that Gabe did on that uh, drawing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that was supposed to be me. 
I, I, I really appreciate, Gabe, if you're listening, that you didn't draw me with uh, the big tummy that I have. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Well, let's let's look at the other side of this. Okay, I imagine that this might be seen. Otherwise, where would they go and have the detail? Okay, lots of nice detail there. Lots of nice hand painting. I, th I think I'm going to enjoy it. I think I am. Okay, this is the last sprue in that box. And it is sprue M. M as in mother. Yeah. And in all probability, there's detail on the other side of that. Let's turn it over and take a little look here. Yep. Lots of detail. Okay. That's it for that box. I don't think I'm going to... Let's, let's save the last box for tomorrow. Now I was just putting our M sprue back in the package and then I noticed all this detail right here and uh, I'm, I'm just thinking that's going to be a little bit hard to paint because uh, the back would probably be one color and these, these pipes or whatever they are supposed to be would be a, a different color so that they would contrast then I think that in all likelihood on what looks like little pegs right here that I'm just touching, I think that probably some sort of control wheel probably goes on that. It could be that something plugs in here as well, and here maybe, and maybe here and here. Oh yeah, it's, it's more of the same. So uh, yeah, lots of, uh, lots of nice detail that if a person likes to do that sort of thing, uh, you can really, you might say, immerse yourself in it or maybe in this case submerge yourself in it yeah no uh, I, I sort of stole that from military modeler Paul he he used that phrase so thank you Paul <laughs> give credit where credit is due I don't think they have to be in the same order as I took them out, but I think they basically are. Now, we don't want to be packing them down, do we? Okay. Well, it is dark outside now. I think I'll check the sunrise, uh, and if it was nice, I'll, put, I'll tack it on the end of today's episode. Uh, if it's not, I won't. <laughs> okay. Uh, We'll, we'll do uh, box number three. Uh, number three? Yeah, we'll be doing box number three tomorrow. I guess it's actually number four because number one was the, was the big box, wasn't it? Okay, uh, thanks for watching. All being well, we're going to see you in the morning. <laughs>